Hey, Shalom, Markings, Rakam, Akapash, from Jimmy's London, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Chachadash. When I give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and Shalom, I'm out there to the whole product, which is truth and all sincerity. Uh, back with another article, <clears throat> right? Um, and this is getting into the CDB, CBDCs, right? We keep on talking about, you know, the digital currencies. And um, what's this? The Royal Bank of India, right? They're launching um, a pilot. Okay, to test out, you know, the use of this digital currency, man. Okay, because, you know, these are the times we're living in, man. And this, this world is going to move away from, you know, the typical fiat paper standard. Okay, and it's going to go completely digital. Okay, using the, the blockchain and, you know, these different types of technology. Okay, which ultimately gives them greater control over your, over your, your finances, your money. All right. Which, you know... It's going to lead people down the road of having to take the MLTB to, um, you know, to use, right? To have access to, to any type of finance, you know, funding, you know, in the time to come, right? So this is RBI is set to launch retail CBDC soon, right? It says customers and merchants will be asked to download a wallet that will hold the digital rupee that then, then they can request denominations from their banks. On November 1st, the RBI launched the wholesale version of the CBDC. The launch saw 48 transactions worth, wherever that is, 275 CR using CBDC. Eight banks, SBI, Bank of Baroda, Union Bank of India, HDFC, ICICI, Kotak, Mading, Mahindra, Yes Bank and IDFC first are participants in the pilot for retail CBDC. All right, so... You know, this is what's being developed around the world, by the way. Right? This is not just something that's in this country or in that country. All these countries are working on this right now. It's a global thing that's about to take place and, and a global change that's about to take place, right? Okay, Esau and you know, the devil is making moves in the earth, right, to consolidate power, right? And he's got all these different nations uh, you know, um conducting all these um these rollouts, right? It's not something that's, um, you know, these individual nations are just deciding to do. No, it's a plan. Okay, that Esau is, you know, promoting and pushing, all right, to bring the world into compliance and into, into oneness, right? The NWO, okay? This is, um, the. The Reserve Bank of India RBI is reportedly in the final stages of rolling out the retail version of the central bank digital currency, the digital rupee. The retail CBDC will be interoperable with the present forms of payment systems, right? So, you know, they're going to be, it's going to be compatible. They're going to use, supposedly, at this moment in time, um, you know, the regular rupee, you know, alongside the digital rupee. So they, they'll all be accepted, right? But we know that as soon as this crash happens, they ain't gonna, they ain't going to be no paper money there ain't going to be no cash because <coughs> the, the world is moving away from cash right they're taking cash out of the system so when this crash happens there ain't going to be no cash you know the paper currencies ain't going to be worth shit in, anyway after all that you know these currencies are, are, are losing value you know causing uh, inflation okay and we know hyperinflation that always, that's all going to occur right so the, these currencies that are, that exist right now in the paper forms and, and all that, that's they they're gonna be removed, right? And this new technology is what they're gonna replace it with, man, because it's better for them, right? Uh, there's a part in this I wanted to grab. It was interesting. Uh, where is it? It says here, there were several motivations for the federal bank to launch the CBDC in India, becoming one of the first few reserve banks in the world to have introduced a digital currency. Okay, it's going to be a trend, right? And uh, the RBI has been positioned the digital rupee as a counter to cryptocurrencies in India, right? So they want to control the space, essentially is what they're doing, right? 
So the, earlier this year, the, the Deputy Governor T. Rabbi Sankar said that the CBDC will kill, could kill the reason for cryptocurrencies to exist in India. Uh, we, be, we believe that the CBDCs will be able to kill whatever little case there could be for private cryptocurrencies. And, and this is why, you know, that whole space with the cryptocurrencies, most of them are, uh, are dodge coins, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, they're, they're, you know, of little use. Right, you will see that a lot of these cryptocurrencies that exist today, because there's there's thousands, you know, of these crypto coins out there, um, they're gonna disappear. Okay, they're gonna be destroyed, they're gonna be taken out of the market, and you'll be left with a few that have some type of function um in the earth, you know, in the world. Okay, you'll be left with a few, right? So they're gonna essentially get rid of most of them. Or well, most of them are going to be, you know, going to disappear. All right, it says, um, it says, any tool that can be used for good can also be put to undesirable uses. Technology at the end of the day is a tool, right? A lot of people are getting scammed at, you know, at these cryptocurrencies. You know, so they, they're looking to, to eradicate pretty much the majority of them, you know, with this, with their own CBDCs, right? And that's what the rest of these countries are going to be doing too, Right. So according to the RBI, the CBDC will help reduce operational costs, right, involved in physical cash management, right, that's, and that is one of the reasons, right, you ain't going to have cash anymore, it's interoperable right now and, you know, cash going to work alongside it, man, but when that system is gone, or when it's destroyed, they're just going to move over to the digital system, because everyone's going to have one of these wallets, you know, that they've issued to people, that these banks are issuing to people. Why 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 need to go to the cash machine to draw out money? Why do they have to hold cash on site? What's the point? You know? There won't be no need for it all, right? This is a foster financial inclusion. Okay, and they always talk about banking the unbanked and, and all this business, right? And bring resilience efficiency and innovation to payment systems among others the digital rupee is also set to play an important role in boosting innovation in cross-border payments by reducing costs and improving efficiency yeah it's all more efficient okay 105 countries are working on the cbdc according to the think tank the atlantic council <laughs> right of the 105 11 countries have launched nationwide cbdc's while 15 others including india and china have launched pilot projects Right, it's something that they're all working on. Well, at least for these hundred five countries in anyway, right? But this will be the, the the new adoption of the world, okay? As a, as a standard of of currencies, man. All right, and just to tie up with this article here, where is it? All right, news from the UK it says just in Bank of England deputy governor says the UK might need a digital pound, and it. Might need that they all they're planning this, they've been, they've been planning this. <laughs> you might need a digital pound, they've been planning this for a long time, all right? And they've, they've been doing this, right? So, they're, they're, they're you know, they're getting themselves ready, right? So, it's follow, following FTX collapse, right? That was you know, that exchange that went down and took a bunch of people's money, <laughs> right? Um, so yeah, it's funny off the back of that, they want to talk about the digital pound. Because they want to control, you know, that, that space there, right? Um, so, yeah, okay. So, this is Bank of England Deputy Governor states the, the necessity of digital pan. Different kind of wording. Not could or might need a digital pan, but the necessity of it. So, it's something that they're looking at to do. So the fall the fall of FTX exchange has definitely alerted global regula regulators. It has also awakened a newfound need for speeding up cryptocurrency regulation around the globe. The latest nation to join the list is the UK. All right, big boy finance. Okay, Britain is almost like the, the center of world finance, man. You know, so they're big boys in this, right? Um. So the discussion arose on the topic of whether a digital pound should be released after the fall of FTX. Uh, let's just see if there's anything interesting in here. It 
is a Cunliffe stated that FTX is a prime example of how these new technologies might revolutionize financial services and the, and the forms that money takes. The money is going to change. Right. Recently, lawmakers in the UK decided to acknowledge cryptocurrencies as regulated goods and financial instruments. The inclusion of stable coins in the new bill was approved by the House of Commons as well. Right. And, and ever since um, Sunak's been put in office as the prime minister, right, he on that, you know, he, he wrote about that. He want to get involved in that and want to push that. Right. So it's not, it's not a case of could, might, if. It's, it's something that is obviously being pushed and you know is going to come about and it's been like i said been in the works all right jp morgan officially registered cryptocurrency trademark they, they're getting in on it this is something that's happening bro you know okay we're moving closer to the motb man and you know the necessity the necessity to having it okay to to use these digital assets man all right, that's just what it is. That's where the world's moving to. All right. So I'm going to get this Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he know he knoweth that he have but a short time. Okay, time is running short. They're all jumping on it, man. It's, it's time to move. Okay, we just they, they had Evelyn die. We had the Queen die. Right. These men, they don't want to... Wait, you know, wait around much longer, man. The next one could croak real soon. All right, so they're pushing these agendas, man. It has to go full steam ahead. All right, so they're ramping it up now. You know, they're re releasing these pilots, these projects, and and all of that. You know, talking about it more and more, pushing out there in out there in, in you know in in the media and that, just pushing it out more and more. Okay, but there's also a collapse coming. Okay, which will be the prime, you know, a prime time to really, um, uh, what's what I'm looking for, man? Capitalize on these technologies, man. All right, but you know they're gonna come with some type of strings. Okay, and when that happens, man, I said the MLTB that will be, um, <laughs> that'll be, you know, words on people's lips. All right, they'll be talking about implants and stuff. Right, get your UBI, universal basic income, and, and all of that. Right, that's going to be sp being spoken. That will be spoken a lot of, about, you know, in that time. Uh, Revelations thirteen and fifteen, and, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Right, so like I said, people are going to be, you know. Uh, be kind of swayed to take this mark, right? Because of the necessity of having it in that time, man. Because the, the money's gonna fail. Okay, the cash, you know, the regular money that they got is gonna fail, right? And mixed up with that, the fact that you know resources are scarce, we're gonna be we're gonna be made more scarce, right? You're gonna have you're gonna have what you feel like is limited options. Or no options apart from this one, right? So for you for you to to survive in that time, these people are gonna give themselves over to take this mark because of the pressure that Esau is putting on the earth, man. Okay, people felt a bit of pressure when the CV was it was around, and people were leaving their jobs because they were making it impossible for people to work unless they had the the, the venom. Esau gonna put more pressure on. When this time comes, man, or you're going to feel the pressure more because, hey, you can't eat, right? You, you, your man's is starving, man. Your family's starving, you know? And the only option to get access to food is to take this. Most people are going to do it, you know? And some people are going to have to be, you know, a bit more forcefully coerced <laughs> into it or be pushed further, you know? But a lot of people, a lot of people are going to just get down with the program, you know? But that's the idea, you know. This is um and that verse seventeen, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the name of or the number of his name, right? So it's going to become a necessity, a requirement to be able to buy anything or sell anything. 
right? Because that old system is not going to be there for you to exploit, you know, cash in hand and all that cut type of stuff. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just pay cash. No, nah, th that system don't exist no more. Okay, it won't be existing. Cash is not acceptable currency, man. It ain't worth nothing. You know, for you, for, you, for those that you know still put their uh, <laughs> their life savings under a mattress, man. You won't find that even in the bank, right? It don't even matter. <laughs> it don't even matter where you got this cash money, man. Yeah. If it's if you think you're saving, man, your your savings are about to go to zero. Okay, more or less. Okay, you you'll be digging into that quick time. Okay, when when you know food is is uh hello expensive. Okay, you you're gonna use all your savings up if you have any. Jay got ain't, Jay ain't got fucking savings, man. Jake's fucked. Okay, I, I people are through in it. So a lot of these people, they're going to give in and take the mark anyway. But, you know, the more money you got or, or whatever, you know, you play resist a bit longer. Only for a little longer. You know, just like how, how right now all these price price increases, they're kicking Jake's ass right now because Jake's poor. But, you know, you people that, you know, been living middle class and that, you know, you could, you could survive a bit longer. But you're slowly being dragged into, into the bottom, down to the bottom. Okay, yeah, that's why, you're, you know, you Edomites and the rest of your nations are pissed. But now you're going to food banks too. Now you're uh, applying for benefits. You no, know, you, you you're you're down and out either much, you're already on benefits, man. But you middle class, so you got you have, you have to be visiting them food banks, man. It's the time we're living in, man. This this kingdom is being destroyed. Okay, and you along with it. Alright. Anyway, moving on. This is Proverbs 22, verse 7. The rich ruleth over the poor. And the borrower is servant to the lender, right? The elites of this world, the real kings, okay, these these uh, elite banking families, man, they're the ones that rule the society. They're the ones that rule the earth. The wicked is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, right? They're the ones ruling, right? And they're the ones providing you with this uh, digital, at these digital assets, these digital currencies, man. They're the ones going to be providing you with the food because they they they're gonna have, they're gonna have the control over it. They're gonna have complete control over it, man. They're gonna ration you, ration your shit, and you know these countries are preparing that rationing. You know, Robert Cowboy is, is is going into that. Um, you know, that rationing is 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 you know, the, well. The reasons for rationing is under conditions of war or or great famine, man, or great great you know uh, tribulation, man. That's the time we're in. We're not in the time of mirth. We're not in the time of partying and fucking around. Okay, we're at war. Okay, Esau is laying siege to us, man, to the people. Okay, great famine and great death is on its way. All right, but so we're going to be going to, to well, not we, not us, Lord willing, you know, but the people, they're going to be going to Esau for, for, some sub, some, sub, for some type of safety, man, for some sort of assurances, you know, to provide them with things, to provide them with food, for, for, to provide them with money to get food and and all this type of business, right? And that's why the UBI, the universal basic income, that's all being built up. Okay. You got these digital currencies, they're all being built up. The CBDCs, they're all being built up. Okay, these implantable technologies, they're getting built up. You know, the smart cities, that's all getting built up. It's all getting built up for you, man. It's your cage. Right? For Esau to trap you in. Right? So you'll that you'll always be a servant. Right, I'm gonna read it again. The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower, okay, which is pretty much everybody, everybody else, other than the elites, right, is servant to the lender. If he saw control every everything, food, water, whatever, then you're the servant, man. You're you're the one having to borrow. You know those CBDCs, man. That's a uh, you know, you can use it as programmable money, man. Got restrictions on that money. You know. So you can all use it for whatever it is that they give you give you to it, you know, to use for. You know? Total control. It's Revelation chapter 6, verse 5. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard and the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse, and he that sat upon him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the, of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. I see thou hurt not the oil and the wine, right? Meaning things are going to get super expensive soon. Okay, things are be getting more expensive steadily, right? But this ain't nothing yet, man. 
okay that black horse is <laughs> is coming right and the things that people take for granted like bread and milk and eggs and stuff like that your eggs is a problem you can't even get hold of eggs a lot of, <laughs> a lot of places in the in these supermarkets man they're running out they got a, uh, uh, um you know supply issue right these men are fucking murking the farmers for, for the prices but you know these these prices that we're paying now, or people or people we're taking granted for, is, is is relatively cheap, right? As soon as it's going to be unattainable. Now you can never imagine that right now, right? But you know when a loaf of bread is like hundred pound, you gonna be like you be thinking twice about that, that loaf of bread. <laughs> Definitely, right? That that's that's your shopping budget done. Well, a lot of you ain't got hundred pound for shopping budget, but you know when that bread is. 40 pound 30 pound 40 50 60 pound you're <laughs> well you're you're you're, you're really uh gonna be um miserly with your money man you know thinking how to make it stretch okay that's the situation that this you know the black horse is bringing the inflation all right it says um and when he had opened the fourth seal i heard the voice of the fourth beast say come and see and i looked and behold a pale horse and he and his name that sat up on him was death and hell followed with him the power and power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword with hunger and with death and with, with the beasts of the earth right so i'm just going to focus on the hunger is the hunger point man but the death <laughs> the death is coming okay people are going to starve to death okay that's part of the part of the judgments man right these, these are all gonna you know occur one after the other, man. Because obviously, man, if if the if the prices are too high, you can't buy. Right? If the supply is low, there's little to buy in the first place. That's why the the, the price is going to be even higher. The supply and demand, you know, and people are gonna gonna end up starving to death, right? And obviously, there's going to be chaos in the streets, sedition. As we as we read, we second Ezra's right. So all that's coming, you know. And like I said, that's all you know. It all tie it all ties in with what's going on here. You know these these digital currencies and that, because they're setting up the system, the new system. All right, there's a black horse there in the background. <laughs> you know, there you go, black horse. <laughs> Right, but anyway, Lord Win, this is Ed Fine. I'm gonna end it there, and um, I'll catch you guys. This is in the next video, man. So, next time I say Shalom.